Welcome to the Women's Wellness Podcast, where we interview experts in various fields with the goal of empowering women to make informed decisions about their health, life, and family. I'm your host, Amy Jane Smith, and I would like to thank you for tuning in today to get comfy while I introduce our next guest. Don't listen to this podcast while driving. Hello and welcome to the Women's Wellness Podcast. My name is Amy and I am your host. And today I'm very excited because I think this is the right time to bring this topic to light. And we're going to be talking about meditation and visualization. And to talk about that, I am bringing life coach, nutritionist and personal trainer and artist which she didn't mention in her bio, but that's how I met her in the first place. Um, Leela Cohen. She is the owner of Upfit NZ. And what they do and what she does is offer a holistic approach to health and well-being. And she works with clients to encompass everything, a more holistic look, which is speaking my language already, to create courses specifically for that person to help with their mind body and soul and i'm just oh so excited because i love this thing so without further ado just welcome leela thank you for coming thank you so much for having me amy this is a pleasure to be here um i'm very honored that you asked me to um give a, a speech yeah, um yeah yeah, yeah and it's, I what you do as well is beautiful, helping women out there to um, to learn new things, new techniques. That's wonderful. So well done, you. That's it. The the more people have the information, the more they can figure out Absolutely. what they need for Absolutely. themselves. So I've got I kind of got into my visualization, affirmations, and vision boards, and people kind of hear these words bandied about all the time and I think a lot of it came about with um more recently with the book The Secrets I reckon and that's how I got into Mm. my journey but tell me a bit about Mm. your journey and your story how did you get into this side of life so um I was always different since I was very young uh, in comparison to other children I was very um a dreamer I was playing with the sand and making things out um hence my creativity mm-hmm. um I use natural materials in my uh, in my art so I source colors from nature so I'm using spices and mud and sand and all sorts oh, wow. of wow creation and is that um, one behind you that's the one behind me yes that's I called mum um that's my mom on the left, and this is me on the right. Um, at the time, mom was very sick, so I, I sent her my love, basically. Um, so that oh, that was my way of expressing um, my love to her. Yeah, that's really nice. Yeah, through so, um, through the years, I've done lots of different things. I was always very active. I love exercise. Um, I love sports. Um, I also like to um, to go camping and connect to Mother Earth. Um, and after the separation from my husband, I went through a very slippery slope and I was diagnosed with depression, oh. um, which led me to many years of studying. And in a way, I'm thankful for that. Um, it, brought me to really learn about who I am and how I tick and what makes me feel a certain way and what makes me feel sad or happy. Um, And I noticed a pattern in me that the food I inject into my body really impacts on my brain and also the way that I feel. So the mm. thoughts were becoming very, very negative. Then my um, my feeling become really, really angry and frustrated and sad, um, which reinforced the depression and yeah. made it even worse. Um, so I start journaling and I start uh, really, really analyzing myself. Um, then came 
universe sent me a message that there's a course about life coaching and maybe I should go in and, you know, trial that. And I thought, yeah, why not? You know, I'm a very open person and I love learning. I never stop. So I've done a life coaching um, with the Life Coaching Institute um, a course, and I'm now registered with the Life Co New Zealand Australia Life Coach Alliance. Um, afterwards, I started looking at um, learning about nutrition and fitness, and I've done um, uh, a, a degree, a post graduation degree in health science, um, fitness, and nutrition. Mm -hmm. um, and then I thought we, I've always loved exercising I've always been to the gym since I was trying to lose weight like all of us women <laughs> so we were running to the gym and we fit, you know <laughs> jumping and doing all this cardio and resistant training and all sorts of things to lose weight so I thought maybe I should just you know I do another short course to become a personal trainer and that's how I end up as a personal trainer um, then working at Club Physical for a um, few years, I noticed that most women that come and see me, they actually suffer from depression. 50% of them actually suffer from depression. and wow, they that's quite high. You know, themselves. Yeah, they constantly berating themselves, um, seeing themselves as overweight and um, ugly and um, very um, unconfident. Mm. and um, seeking to, their goal was to look great and feel fantastic, basically, to lose weight and to, but that was just a, that, that was just a symptom. It wasn't the real problem. Mm. And I noticed that the real problem is actually the inner, the soul that is not in line with the mind and the body. And that's when I thought, okay, I, I really need to, um, to learn a bit more about the soul and how it's all evolved. And I came across a wonderful um, course uh, of meditation, uh, which I've t I teach as well. And mm -hmm. the last three years that I've done the meditation, I feel amazing, absolutely amazing. And I've learned the tools of vis visualization as well. And I, visualize my life really i truly believe that we came here for a reason we yeah. choose to come here to this earth to learn and mm. to grow and um by doing visualization that's just made life much more um, beautiful um there are some still days that are very challenging and i'm feeling very low and very upset and but i do the work twice a day that's how i overcome depression twice a day morning and evenings doing my meditation affirmations and visualization alongside eating healthy exercising and um and and being in contact with people that's yeah. really really important yeah i'm glad um, you mentioned that actually about you still having down days because oh. just just doing this isn't a magic pill just like taking pills mm -hmm. that nothing is a magic pill that you've got to take the good with the bad but it's learning absolutely. how to communicate with yourself isn't it absolutely absolutely and it's i'm off the medication completely I, it's been bad two years I'm off the medication completely but it's everyday work like i said it's twice a day morning and evening and it's at least half an hour each side so it's an hour in total um, some days I take two hours to meditate and that's made me feel really amazing. Yeah. And it's, I create things by doing that as well. Um, and now I open my own business and I'm helping other women to overcome depression and um, anxiety. And I feel really blessed that I'm able to give back to, you know, to us people, you know, to, to learn and grow. And um, thank you again for giving me this platform. No, you're welcome. And I was just thinking, um, you're probably one of the success stories that has come out of the COVID lockdown because yeah. that's when you had a real shift, wasn't it? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Yes. Cause I, I was working at club physical and I, I start seeing that he's coming. It's, it's funny. It's, um, personal trainer is very, um, seasonal work. 
Mm. So you get the rush of the people just before Christmas. They all want to lose weight and look amazing for one night. Yeah. <laughs> and then they drink and they drink and they eat. We eat a lot and we get all fatty. And then winter come and we stop. Yeah. And then maybe back in back again in October. So it's very seasonal and I was lucky to actually re recognize it and say, oh, actually, maybe it's not the right place for me here. So yeah. I moved on to, um, to open my own um, holistic, uh, personalized business. Yeah, that's fantastic. And again, that's all about tuning into yourself. And I wanted to move on. So you mentioned you started learning about meditation and visualization. Um, we'll yeah. start with visualization first. In your own words, can, how would you define visualization? How would you describe it to somebody who had never heard of it before? So visualization is what athletes use when they want to achieve their goal. So say an athlete wants to run for a very long distance in a very short period of time. So they will do, they will close their eyes and they'll visualize themselves running really, 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 really fast in a really, really short time and they're getting to the end point and they're doing that, you know, with their hands. Um, that's what they, they see in their mind. And we all have uh, the ability to visualize. We, all, we, we are all um, very creative people. Um, we, when, we, when we go to sleep, we dream. That's our way of uh, creating as well. Our brain is, is seeing pictures. So like children that want to uh, create a, a picture, they, they, some children, I'm not saying all of them, but they, you know, children are very um, op open and receptive to. Mm, they're quite receiving. free, aren't they? Yeah. So, so it's come naturally to them. And so the same with visualization, you close your eyes and you just let the mind take you and, um, and you create whatever. So with, with the technique I teach, uh, I start with meditation, which the mind is really calm and relaxed. And, and it's kind of like diverse, diverse because in one way, meditation is just clear mind, no thoughts whatsoever. And then visualization is actually engaging the brain. It's the opposite with, almost, yeah. <laughs> exactly. But the technique I teach is more with mantras of med the meditation. So you okay. create this calmness of, uh, and if you allow me, I can take you through some, some um, examples. Yes. yes, I'd love for you to go through some for, yeah. again, for the yeah. beginners and people who've never thought of it. We can go through that in a bit if you'd like. Absolutely, that'd be fantastic. So basically, you're um, to close the eyes and they're um, getting to a calmness mind. Uh, and then when the mind is calm and relaxed and the body is relaxed, um, it takes around 10 minutes, something like that. Okay. And then you start um, talking to yourself, what is it that I want to visualize? So say, for example, you want to, at the moment I'm working on moving to live in front of the ocean. Um, nice. So I don't know how, but I'm visualizing it and I'm sure that it will happen one day, mm -hmm. not tomorrow. <laughs> but um, so I'm closing my eyes. I'm very calm, very in a very calm state. And then I visualize the ocean and I visualize the day. And then in the deck, I've put some chairs and there's a table that I can see. It's not flashy at the moment because I'm a very simple person. Um, so it's a very, you know, the deck is very, you know, old kind of fashion deck. And, but it's yeah. in front of the ocean and it's beautiful. And there's some trees growing um, to both sides of the house. And um, that basically that's what you do. You create a story, you create a movie in your mind. That's what visualization is all about. Fantastic. Thank you for that. I like, I like how you mentioned athletes use it because a lot of people, when, when you hear the word visualization and affirmations and creating your own story, a lot mm. of people go, Oh, it's so hippy dippy, but no, that's exactly it. Athletes, athletes do it all the time. They're visualizing winning that gold medal, scoring the exactly. try, whatever it is, they're in exactly. that zone. And exactly. Exactly. I would call rugby players hippy dippy. <laughs> yeah. 
yeah 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 and you can do that in a very simple way if it's a very just if you you know hold your hand straight you know and then you, so you, you hold your hand straight you turn right and you can only reach this way but if you close your eyes and you, you, you visualize yourself holding your hands straight and reaching all the way through to the behind your back Ooh. and just open your eyes and then we can try it again and suddenly the hands go all the way to the back there you go so, so it does I thought I tried that yeah so so it's basically convincing the brain or, or telling the brain to send a message to the body to make the effort and move faster and win that medal goal or reach yes the goal. yeah that's it and it is possible as well to be stuck in negative visualization as well isn't it mm, mm, mm. Absolutely. And that touches the limiting beliefs, basically, that we're, um, we, you know, we've been um, brainwashed to believe that this is who we are. Yeah. But in fact, we're not. We are much more than what we think we are. Um, unfortunately, society are been um, suppressing us to keep, you know, to, to match the mold that's mm. how they want us to look like. Um, now, in the old days, for example, when we were still living in, in a tribe, there was a, the elderly lady, she was the, the wise woman, and she used to tell the children, that's okay, don't worry about it, you're different, your totem is a bear, you like yeah. a bear. You're, and she'll say, oh, you're actually an eagle. So you had a wise woman and we were all living in the fun. We were all living together. You know, it was really harmonical, you know, the elderly and the young all living together. And, um, and, and it was okay to be who you are. It was absolutely fine. But now with, with Western culture, it's not okay to be like who you no. are have to fit them all. You have to look to be exactly like everyone else, to have exactly the same cars, to live in a house with at least, you know, to have two or three children, to have enough money to support your family and, and to pay the taxes, because it's all about the taxes at the end. And so, so we constantly have to fit that square mold. Yeah. And we never give ourselves time to get in touch with what we really want. Exactly. And that's impact on our brain. Yeah. And it's impact on the way we feel and it's impact on the way we see ourselves in the mirror. And it's impact on the way that we even believe that we're able to visualize. Yeah. So um, with the work I do, I'm looking at the person as a whole and I'm slowly, slowly, get, gradually, with the, the mind work is a, is a big part of overcoming depression and um the fitness and nutrition you can always adapt it's it's you, you know just start walk and you already yeah. start to increase that adrenaline in your in your brain and endorphin and you start losing weight if you eat healthy food you lose weight but the mind and the soul stays and if mind soul and body is out of sync mm -hmm. then we fall apart really so the, so the work I do, it's uh, uh, very um, structured to work uh, with the mind. I we work with affirmations and slowly, slowly I get the, my clients to believe in themselves that they, can, that they actually are worthy to have goodness in their life. And it doesn't make, I'm not telling them to go and be like rich now or have, you know, two, um, two cars or, or a mm. big house, just simple things of eating healthy. Yeah. We all deserve to eat healthy food and the food that it's out there is full of toxics, full of, uh, chemicals and full of sugar, which impact on our brain and the way we feel about ourselves. Yeah. And those beliefs, they go through from birth. A lot of it's, I mean, there is the whole nature versus nurture debate, but what you see your parents doing and your peers doing, you just follow along with that blindly. And then it's not until you really sit down and do this work that you realize, Absolutely. hang on, there is another way. There is something that I can do. And it's even just baby steps. You never have to make changes. Absolutely. 
instantly. Absolutely. Even our neighbours have a huge impact on us. Yeah. You know, so little kids. Oh, they've got a new car. I want a new car. And, and even and even just the simple thing of like, what would their neighbours will say? And you mm. think, oh my God, anything, God forbid, and the neighbour will know something about me. Yes. Or our, our, our teachers at school, they have a huge impact. When I yes. was a child, my teacher told me that I'm very slow. But I, but I, I wasn't slow, it's just my learning was different. I'm very visualized. So I see things in, a, in, more, in colors and, and in pictures rather than yeah. writing and, and numbers. I wasn't slow, but she led me to believe that something is wrong with me. Yeah. And people will go, a lot of people will go their whole lives thinking that. Yeah. 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 And it's heartbreaking. Yeah. It's so sad. Um, Absolutely. I just wanted to touch on, so um, we'll get into meditation. I was thinking when you were talking about quieting the mind and yeah. the difference between the meditation and the visualization. And I know when I started my own meditation journey, it took so much effort yeah to quiet my mind, I was going, oh, listen to those birds. Oh, I need to do this. When I get home, has it been half an hour yet? Has it been five minutes? Oh, surely it must be done yet. Is the time going? Have I missed it? Did I set the timer? All of these things went, <laughs> and it's, it's crazy. Yeah. And I'm sure a lot of people go through that, but it does get better. I think I wanted to just yeah, make a point yeah. of that. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. And there's so many different types of meditation out there. Yeah. Um, the meditation I teach is um, inspired by the Bright Path meditation. Okay. And okay. it's basically for, it's affirmations that you keep repeating to yourself. And it's, it's really designed to calm the mind. So whenever you have a thoughts coming in, yes. you kind of, oh, hold on, there's this affirmation here. I'll say it and okay, I acknowledge you, that goes away, disappear, I'll go that, and all I stay with a clear mind. Mm -hmm. And then another thought's coming in, and I say another affirmation, and then this goes away, and this goes away, and I stay with a calm mind. So doing it for like, you know, 20 minutes, twice a day, practicing, even three times a day if you can, sometimes you can do it with eyes open as well, so it doesn't have to be with closed eyes. I mm. often meditate um, when I'm around people with my eyes open. And it's just repeating the sessions of, uh, my affirmation, the one that I teach is um, compassion. Just to say the word compassion oh, okay. while I have these thoughts. So I say, these thoughts coming in, oh, I forgot my washing. Oh, I left it in the washing machine. How come I didn't dry it? I should have done it compassion okay i feel calm and relaxed i feel <sighs> yeah bleak mm. and just doing that for five minutes relaxing the mind and then afterwards um keep introducing every time and then i start introducing the um the visualization i'm looking at um say i want to create a color in around me so i'm focusing on a specific color and i'm closing my eyes and just focus to bring that color close to me in fact we, we can actually do that now if yes like. i was just thinking that i'd love to have some examples and those listening or watching at home can join in okay so just let's like, take a deep breath in Get comfortable. Take one deep, slow breath in and release the air out. Just focus on your breath for now. Breathe normal rhythm. In and out. Focus on your stomach. Going in, up and down. And now, 
just visualize the color of your choice, your chose choice. It can be blue, it can be pink, or maybe purple. Continue breathing while holding that color in your thoughts. Maybe think about what this color represent to you. And with each inhale, imagine the desire color slowly washing over your body from head to toe. Continue breathing as you visualize the color filling your entire body. including your fingertips. Just imagine unwanted emotions drawing out of your body with each inhale and replace them with your chosen color, with each inhale. Continue visualize this beautiful color washing all over yourself. With each inhale, the color washes the emotions out. Keep breathing. replacing the emotions with this beautiful color. Inhale and exhale. Let the color wash all through you. Let all the negative thoughts, feelings wash away from you. Imagine that this color is washes you from the outside and from the inside. This beautiful glowing color of your choice heals you. and cleans every bit of negativity out of you. When I'm 
dimension, a part of the body. I want you to focus the color on this part. Imagine this color washes through your throat. It goes down to your heart, warming up the lungs with every inhale. And it's go down the stomach, glowing color and cleans everything that does not suit you or serve you. It washes your legs. This beautiful color touches your finger toe. and comes up again. Clear your head. Clear your nose. Your throat. Your shoulders. your hands, your hips, and your toes. This color is staying at your feet. And it's to keep you safe for as long as you need it. This is your favorite color. And it's only yours. And whenever you imagine this color and visualize it, It will be there to comfort you. Slowly, slowly, you can wake up. Is it done? <laughs> so that's the visualization, basically, and you can do that with all sorts of techniques. Mm. There's, um, like I mentioned, you can visualize yourself sitting in front of the ocean and hearing the waves and the wind. Yeah, that was nice. I'm feeling chill. Wonderful. How do people Sorry. get in touch with you? Do you work with people in person or do you work online? Um, maybe we mentioned COVID before. So uh, online, everything is online these days. It's uh, exactly the same as we're using now. Mm -hmm. um, I'm guiding you through your healing process it's as i mentioned it's very holistic my website it's www.upfitnz.com www.upfit.com.upfitnz.com mm -hmm. 
and you can contact me. I give um, free sessions, uh, one free session. Yes. And you can try it if you like it. And we basically together, we sit down and we personalize your um, course. Each course, we have two courses. One is eight weeks and uh, another course is 12 weeks. It's much, much in depth. And it's, it's wonderful. It's beautiful. I get really good uh, results um, with 12 weeks. And I keep you accountable for your own healings and health and well-being and we look at the your um, fitness level and your health um, I do a screen a health screen and we talking about affirmations that suits you as well as meditation visualization that works specifically for you perfect and I will pop all of these links in the show notes as well and um, so we're coming to the end. I do have one thing that I like to ask everybody before we wrap up and finish. So out of everything that we've talking, talking, spoken about, what is one thing that you'd like the women listening to this podcast to take away from today? That nothing is wrong with them. Nothing is wrong with us. We are perfect, imperfect, and we just need to come back home. You know, mind, body, soul, alliance. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Oh my gosh! Yes. So, whoever's watching this, I don't know how this is good. This recording is going to play out. Sometimes it, I'm side by side. Sometimes I ping up, but I just hands up in the air. Preach, preach right there yes <laughs> yes because oh, yeah. i know when it's i talk to people throw the word should out of the window exactly exactly and instead you can say if i really wanted to i could yes yeah and it's all about shifting the mind and that's the work i do i help people to shift their mindset and create transformation really yeah and I, and I work with women who want to lose weight women who wants to go through uh, a weight loss surgery and need the mental physical and emotional support yeah. I work with yeah. women who suffer from depression and anxiety I work with women who just want a life coach to help them to set a goal and achieve it yeah um, but at the end of the day it's all here it is without the mind we're nothing Absolutely. Happens. Absolutely. Absolutely. On that, I will leave it there with that little snippet, pearls <laughs> of wisdom. So thank you very much for joining me. And this will go live. This is going to be quite quickly. It's going to be going live on Monday. So I will let you know. But thank you very much, Leela. And I, yes, just I hope whoever's listening to this got Amen. a calm Thank you. feeling like I did. <laughs> Appreciate that. Thank you so much. Bye. Have a wonderful weekend. You too. Bye. Thank you for listening to the Women's Wellness Podcast. For links and show notes, please visit www.connecthealth.fitness forward slash podcast. I would love for you to subscribe to the channel so you get notified when we release our next episode and please share with anyone who you think might benefit. Thank you again. I look forward to seeing you soon.